fabric virtual networks and we assigned one board node and two edge nodes. This video I will show you how to do a host onboarding. But before that, let's recap of what we have done. For virtual networks, I created virtual CLAP VN, CLAP VN2, and default VN infrastructure VN are in our fabric. CLAP VN, CLAP VN2, default VN infrastructure VN. Okay. On the host onboarding, we selected the authentication template to none. In virtual networks, we have signed the pools and SGTs to a CLAP VN. We have pool one, pool two, security group, tag one, tag two. And these VLAN ID, VN ID are automatically assigned. CLAP VN2, we have one pool. That's the pool three with security tag three. This is VLAN ID. VN ID. In infra VN, we have AP pool and extended node pool. VN ID, L2 VLAN ID, and we don't have any security group and now i'll show you a few commands navigate to two command runner we have to do it on border one edge one edge two the first command we'll run is show run begin vif at and show run sac lisp also show run sac vlan let's see what a uh, dnac has helped us to automatically create our nodes click run those three commands have the run successfully. Um, first, the border will first show a VIF. DNAC has created a, a VIF for us. CLAP VN, RD, CLAP VN2, RD, they are all there. Similar to Edge Node, VIF are created already. Edge one. But show VLAN equate as three zero zero one, three zero zero two. If we open our diagram, you'll see three zero zero one is for CLAP VN for the exit to the V virtual VSA ASA for the border connection. And 3002 is created for CLAP UN2 to ASSA uh, with BGP. These are the yes, the VLANs for the external connections on the border. Back to DNAC, we have seen our VLANs are also created for our, our virtual networks. 
each VLAN are created with a specific name and a VLAN ID. Let's look at a showrun sec lisp. Showrun sec lisp on border one shows it, were, it is a MAMP resolver and um, MAMP server. It is a control node. Showrun lisp is showing also the border node is an ETR. If it doesn't know, the traffic will be routed to the border from the edge. Of course, it's ITR as well. In Edge 2, we're seeing it has the IP of a border as MAMP resolver and a MAMP server. For Lisp, of the EID to our lock mapping, the border nodes, the, sorry, the edge nodes will look for the border for resolveration. And is the ITR, you will use the border as ETR. This is the same in the edge. Also, we want to make sure the CTS is, uh, is there for all the security tax security groups. It's on edge one and edge two. Of course, it should be on the border. It's also DNAC has helped us to create a BGP commands. This config is shown sec BGP. We create a BGP AS number 100 and the BGP to uh, the ASA two hand L3 handoff. I also created each for the VIF CLAP VN and CLAP VN2. The update source one for CLAP VN, that's VN VLAN 3001. For CLAP VN2, that's VLAN 3002. And all the routes are propagated. If you can recall, we associated um, the pool one and the pool two. These are the any connect. Um, it's a any connect uh, any cast gateway IP. The any cast gateway IP. So let's open up the diagram. What I want to explain to you is this part. A BGP on the um, border nodes are instead the BGP neighbor to our BGP ASA is sending the routes 1.0, 2.0 to this neighbor and also through this neighbor we're sending uh, the routes in the CLAP VN2 which is 3.0 the BGP on the ASA will all send a different route a different route to the border in terms of the VNs they are the VIF for BGP. These are the BGP VIF. Okay. OK, 
Okay. This is the way how um, you have a fabric. And uh, extra net. Ex that's external to the fabric. Okay. The BGP actually is called eBGP. In here, I use ASA. You can also use uh, your Fusion, Fusion Router. Okay. Also, I accidentally uh, slip out VN ActionNet. What you want to do is to look at this document. The document shows how you can um, make the intro VIF communication in the fabric. It is called uh, ActionNet, VN ActionNet. It's a le uh, leaking. Similar, um, linking the VNs to uh, for communication with with the in, inside the Lisp. This is not a, my topic. You can look it up yourself. It doesn't use any Fusion or eBGP in this case. Okay. Um, today we're still in talking about the border with eBGP the fusion and the external firewall. Um, what I want to show you here is the DNAC has, uh, has all also done the uh, interface kind of config. On the interface between the border on the border to the ASA is a trunk port. The trunk port is just uh, no shutdown and, it's, uh, and it can give you a VLAN interface, 3001. Let me see, uh, it gives us the name VLAN 3001. I put it into the VRF, CLAP VN, for 3001, 3002, it puts in VRF forwarding CLAP VN2. There are dedicated VLAN interface to our ASA. They are the trunk in the physical port. And DNAC is nice enough to tell you it's a VRF interface to external router, in our case, is a, uh, is a ASA. Okay, enough talking. Let's go to our ASA to do some uh, config. First, I will go to the physical interface, C02. No name, um, just shut, shut it down. No, sorry, to no shut. Um, I have G. Zero, two, two, three, zero, zero, one, sub interface. We'll make sure it's three, zero, zero, one, VLAN, name if, it's CLAB, VN. Security level, we'll give it to 60. IP address, 172. That's right. And add it. Sub interface is G02. Down 3302. VLAN 3002. Name if. Say that VN2. Security 60. IP address. At this point, we'll do some ping test to a border. They can be pinged. 
no now we'll do a bgp remember it's 1000 Lock neighbor change. Make a neighbor, activate. We have and a neighbor activate uh, make network default routes no summary no sync and most important um, for DVN to communicate you have to do a command same security traffic permit inter interface communication okay that's for communication between the different VNs show name if we have created two sub interface for CRVN CRVN2 let's see that BGP show route show route bgp what i'm seeing is the uh, the routes it's from vn name up vn neighbor two routes and one route from up vn2 also very similar on the board show IP route VRF say that VN we are receiving a default route from the ASA VN2 we're also receiving a default route from the ASA